I think that some people want a straight up medieval Game of Thrones type of existence. I think there are people in this world who are cruel and they would love nothing more than to take the world back to the Middle Ages. Now, some people like to say when they're criticizing the system and how it treats black people, they say they want to take us back to slavery. And I say, no, no. The wicked people in this world want us to go further back than slavery. I don't think slavery is good enough. I think they want to go back to straight up serfs. I'm talking further back than colonialism. I think they want us all in tribes trying to kill each other. That's the type of cruelty that watches a person drown. It doesn't think it needs to do anything about it. It's a Game of Thrones type of existence. That's what I think people like. That's why Game of Thrones is so popular, because I think there are a lot of us who are just, I swear, we just wish they could be barbarians, but probably don't have the courage to do so. And unbelievably cruel. Am I saying that about all Game of Thrones fans? No, because I'm a Game of Thrones fan. But I think there's, there's still something in us, in human nature, regardless of race, that's just savage and medieval. It's something there. The religious people call it walking in the flesh. You've heard it. They say some Native American, um, the Native American nations, do you feed the wolf? Do you feed the eagle? You know, whatever you want to call it, the higher man, the lower man, the superior man, the inferior man. I've heard it put all different types of ways. You know, some people say the mind and the the the, uh, the mind and the body. Some people say the spirits and the body. Whatever you want to call it, there is good and bad in everyone. You know what I mean. But some of us give in to the darkness a little bit more. That's why I decided to do this in the dark. There's darkness. Plus, I'm going to go to bed. But some of us decide to give in to the dark side a little more. And the thing is, all it takes is just a few people to be totally committed to the darkness to make things bad for everybody. So, when I heard about the teens laughing at the drowning man, it, it just confirmed the Game of Thrones type existence for me. Especially when it comes out that the man had mental issues. Now, if they couldn't swim or was really too dangerous for them to go after the guy, I mean, that's one thing. But they, they didn't even think to call anybody. They just, <laughs> they just <laughs> didn't even think to call anybody. That's, that's sick. And you can't blame that on race. You can't blame that on race. You can't blame that on fatherlessness. You can't blame that on, oh, is they responding to racism so they learned... No, I don't care what they've been taught to the value or anything. Everybody knows that's wrong. Period. You, you're, you come into this world with a soul that tells you that's wrong. Unless your soul is just super twisted. And those kids were super twisted. And they're going to grow up and we're going to have to deal with them. And you know what? And we live in a world with people like that. And some of you don't think you need to take a martial arts lesson. Some of you don't think you need to learn how to shoot a gun. Some of you probably don't even think you need an alarm system on your house. Some of you don't think you need to check on your family, your friends, or your relatives. Some of you don't need, think that you need to take precautions when you go to and fro. You think you can just live life. And as long as I'm positive or as long as I can, you know, Use my words and have my wits about me. I want to be okay. No, there are people in this world that are just itching for an opportunity to, to let their game of thronesness out, if that's what we're going to call it. I'm, it's a new word. I'm making it up. They just want to unleash, un unleash their inner game of thrones, their, their inner Circe's. So we got people that want a game of thrones existence, man. I really do. One of my biggest fears, I, even though I don't think it's going to happen, is one thing I think is bad is just the collapse of civilization. Because whatever I've read in history, 
as a whole, humanity has it pretty good right now, as a whole. Not all of us, certainly not all of us, but humanity as a whole is doing pretty well right now. And we this, at any time in recorded history, as far as I know, we have the potential to really live up to our ideals. But I think some people are not going to be happy if we do. If we move beyond all the isms and schisms and things that divide us, where is that going to put the people that want to live a Game of Thrones type existence? They ain't going to have anything to do. They're going to be bored out of their minds. And they're probably still going to be waiting in the alley, waiting to stab us in the chest while we're eating breakfast, or waiting to play the knockout game. Or, you know, waiting to harass us because we're dancing with a pretty woman and they don't like it. So, take a martial arts class. I'll come at, I'll just come back to my typical spiel. I probably need to take a martial arts class, and if you're near me, you can come take one from me. And that can do something about this cruel Game of Thrones existence that I think some people just want to take me on TV. Peace.